rest of the highlights. Lagos State Government felicitates Muslims on Ijen Kabir. Federal government flags off construction of Section 2 of Lagos Calibre Coastal Highway Project. On the foreign scene, Israel announces military pause on Gaza World to let in humanitarian aid. And in sport, Italy opens Euro 2024 title defense with win over Albania. Now the details are in Delhi. A Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawulu has rejoiced with Muslims in Nigeria as they celebrate Eid al Adha, widely regarded as the feast of sacrifice by adherents of Islam. He urged Lagosians and Nigerians, particularly the Islamic faithful, to continue on the path of spirituality and peaceful coexistence and imbibe the lessons of the sacrifice made by Prophet Ibrahim. On his Idol Kabir message, in his Idol Kabir message, implored all Nigerians to keep their hopes alive and continue to work for the unity, peace, and progress of the nation. The government also called on Nigerians to take some lessons from Prophet Ibrahim's exemplary life, as well as showing tendencies that could disturb the peace, unity, and stability in the country. The Lagos State House of Assembly has congratulated Lagosians, especially Muslims, on the occasion of Eid al Adha, the Festival of Love and Kindness. Chairman House Committee on Information, Strategy and Security, Stephen Ognibe, in a statement, said the symbols and ceremonies of Eid al Adha speak about the human capacity for sacrifice in the name of love. Ogunipa said the speaker, Mudashu Obasa, urged Muslims to renew their faith and remind the common roots of the world great Abrahamic religions. Lagos State Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Cornelius Ojilabi, has admonished Muslims in the country to learn to keep promises and love their neighbors. And as good message to mark this year's Eid al Adha, Ojalabi advised Muslims to always stand firm in defense of their beliefs and promises, noting that this was what made Prophet Ibrahim stood out as a righteous man. Ojalabi, who fitted some Muslim leaders in Lagos, advised them to always live peacefully with their fellow citizens so as to make love and respect triumph in the country. He appealed to Muslims to remember the less privileged, the poor, during the festivity and allow the fear of Allah to guide them in all their conduct. The Lagos West Managers Authority, Luna, has urged residents to properly bag and dispose of their waste, especially animal waste, during and after this year's Idil Kabir celebrations. Managing Director and CEO of Loma, Mayawa Badigeshi, who gave the advice, noted that comprehensive measures were being implemented to ensure a clean and hygienic environment for the festivities, with certain standards working assiduously. She reiterated Loma's commitment to addressing improper waste disposal practices that could lead to environmental degradation, encouraging residents to engage only assigned PSP operators and avoid cause pushes whose activities undermined the authorities' efforts. The Lama boss also admonished residents to shun dumping waste on road medians, canals, uncompleted buildings, and other unauthorized locations. Ahead of the Ito Kabir celebration, Lagos State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense School and the CDC has deployed more officers and men to ensure the protection of all critical national assets and infrastructure, including transmission lines and towers spread across the state. The state commandant of NACDC, Adidoto Keshiro, explained that the officers and men deployed for this assignment were drawn from various departments, units, area commands, divisions, points, and other relevant formations of the command across the state. Keshiro also seized the opportunity to felicitate the Muslim Umar and sued for peace, sacrifice, kindness, love, and unity among citizens across the state, as exemplified by the Prophet Ibrahim. 
He warned all criminal elements, particularly vandals, to desist from their evil and disastrous acts of economic sabotage or be ready to face the full wrath of the law. Now to the rest of the stories. The federal government has flagged up the construction of Section 2 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway Project. The Section 2, which starts from Lake Deep Sea Port, is the border between Lagos and Ogo State. Minister of Works David Umahi, who flagged up the section as he led officials of the ministry on an engineering tour of ongoing works on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway and other road projects on the Lake Free Trade Zone. Dangadi Tax Credit Route and LECO, among other axes, said each section would be given desired attention as there will be reorganization in the ministry to this effect. Omar, he said about 10 billion naira had so far been paid as compensation to property owners affected by demolition of structures along the right of way of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. I believe strongly that governance is about the welfare of the people. So, and so, grace of God does not respect you know, the breaking of law. And that is what Mr. President has deployed here through God's special grace to say, say, look, all these are my children. The times are hard. Even though they have broken the law, let the grace of God supersede. Omahi, while noting that conflicts in terms of the coastal road have been resolved, also said about five flyovers will be constructed along the Dunk Tax Credit Road, intercepting the coastal road. The numbers of lanes reduced from 10 to 6, in some cases, to reduce costs. He also said the construction of the flyovers would commence in the first week of July, adding that the Federal Executive Council had given approval for the construction of the 56 kilometers Sokoto Badagri Road. Ogun State Government has mandated every house in the state without toilet facilities to get one within the next three to six weeks, six months, or risk sanction. The move, according to the state government, is to combat the recent cholera outbreak in the 30 states of the Federation. Special Advisor to Governor Adapwa Abiodo on Media and Strategy, Kayodi Akimadi, said the government has equally ordered all public and private schools, markets, parks and garages, petrol stations and mechanic villages across the state to ensure that they have toilet facilities and running water for proper hygiene and sanitation. I can only explain that the governor is concerned about the development and the need to protect the people in the state, considering the proximity of Ogun to Lagos and the degree of interactions between the two states. He added that the Ministry of Environment will see to the strict compliance of all the measures as violators will need to face the wrath of law accordingly. Now to follow news, the Israeli ministry, the Israeli military says it will hold a daily tactical pause of military activity along a road in southern Gaza to enable more humanitarian aid to enter. The pauses, which are said to have begun on Saturday, will last until further notice. They will only affect a route that leads northwards from the key Karim Shalom crossing which Gaza shares with Israel. Israel has been under continuous pressure from its allies, including the U.S., to prevent the humanitarian crisis in Gaza from worsening. The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, says today's announcement follows additional related discussions with the U.N. and international organizations. Now, sport, Italy has recovered from conceding the fastest goal in the competition's history to their defence, to get the defence of the European Camp Championship title off to a winning start as the players came back to beat Albania 2-1 in front of a partisan crowd. Nadine Bajrani stunned the Italians and delighted a huge Albanian support in Dortmund as they smashed in their opener just in 50 seconds, the strike overrising the previous record of the Kukas goal and the Euros of 67 seconds by Dmitry Kirchenko of Russia in 2004. 
it is in some ways an unknown quantity coming into this tournament, but the really champions. Having also missed the last two World Cups and failed to fully convince qualifying. On the final of Italy's line up at kick-off here, started the final of the last Euros three years ago with a new look team featuring Bologna, centre-back Ricardo Calafiore, uh, with cap. And as a team, just a couple of speed thrills but kills. Please do not drive below specified speed limit. You can follow us across our social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Solar Administration injected 100 high medium capacity buses for standard routes? Can you get more details on the Lagos State Government website? To end the news are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Government, the Budget Solar has rejoiced with Muslims in Nigeria as they celebrate Eid al Adha, widely regarded as the feast of sacrifice by the adherents of Islam. The federal government has flagged off the construction of Section 2 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. We also told you that the Israeli military said it would hold a daily tactical pause of military activity along a road in southern Gaza to enable more humanitarian aid to enter. And in sport, Italy has recovered from conceding the fastest goal in the tournament competition's history to gain the defense of the European Championship title after a good start as the players came back to beat Albania 2-1 in front of a partisan crowd. For contact the news, drop us a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that is the news broadcast compiled by Adirayu Iduwolaya. I am Dilly Gadumo. Good morning. Thank you for listening.